What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today I'm going to do a part two of the 9mm ballistics video that I shot last year. I've got some different ammunition to test today, so we'll put that to the test with the Smith & Wesson 9mm shield. If you haven't seen the part one of this, I'll drop the link in the description down below. And while you're here and the, uh, the theme song's playing, check out the uh, subscription button in the uh, lower left corner there of the video and subscribe to the channel. So let's head out and get started. All right, everybody. The first round we're going to put to the test today is Grizzly 115 grain jacketed hollow point. It's just a standard hollow point round. We're going to shoot it from five yards into our ballistic gel and see what we get. Let's go take a look. Pretty good energy transfer there. And that's where our round came to a stop. Right at 15 inches. All right, next we've got Grizzly 115 grain jacketed hollow point plus P. So we'll compare those two rounds and see how they perform. I'll put all of the ballistic information in the description down below for all you guys too. Definitely a little more kick to that one. Let's go see how it did. Hey, we've got a lot more of a wound channel on that one but it stopped at 12 inches. Even some piece of jacket in there. Next round we have is SIG V-Crown 365. This is an optimized for concealed carry round. So we'll put it to the test. It's a 115 grain jacketed hollow point. Let's go see how that one performed. A good hit, good energy transfer, a little bit of drop, and it stopped right there about that 14, 14 and a half. Next round is Federal Premium 124 grain punch jacket and hollow point. I haven't actually seen these rounds before. I think they must be fairly new. At least they're new to the area that I'm in. So, kind of excited to put this one to the test. Let's go take a look and see how it did. That round also had about 15 inches of penetration. Very similar to the Grizzly jacketed hollow point. Looking at it, that actually expanded really nicely. Has a good bit of punch, if you will. This will be the Hornady 115 grain FTX critical defense round. I think I pulled that one, we may have to reshoot it. I hit right here. And then we ended right here. Kind of hard to see. I may try to reshoot that one and see if I can put it in a better spot. All right, round two with 115 grain Hornady critical defense. Well, now I'm starting to think it's the ammunition. All right, if this one pulls to the left, I'm gonna say it's the ammunition.
That looked better. Take a look. Much better. All right. So we had a good hit, good energy transfer. The round actually tumbled and is facing backwards. And our wound channel extends to 12 inches, a little over, but the round is sitting at 11 inches. All right, I can't mess this one up. I've only got one of these. This is the Hornady 135 grain critical duty. So this is round was in the test kit that I got when I got the ballistics gel. When we shot it last time, you can check out the video. It had some of the best penetration, but it really didn't expand. So I'm curious to put this one to the test against the critical defense round. Let's see where that one went. After all that and trying to be so careful and shooting with one hand just in case I was putting side pressure on it, I hit right here. Almost in the exact same hole as this other round. But we do have a little bit of a wound channel we can define. And we can see that round actually zip through the first 16 inches here into this block. There it was, right there. So it came out of the bottom of the gel. There's the imprint right there. And it's resting right there. And we're looking at 25 inches to where the impression of that round was. It came out of the bottom of the gel back here, about 18 it looks like. And then stayed between the gel and the table and impressed itself at 25, 26, basically. All right, let's dig these rounds out. There's our Hornady critical defense. I guess I need to hold it back here so that it actually focuses. I'll do close-ups of these here in a little bit. All right, everybody, here's the rounds we shot. This is our 115 grain Grizzly jacketed hollow point. This is the 115 grain jacketed hollow point plus P from Grizzly. That really chewed that round up. A lot of expansion on that. We had our 115 grain SIG V Crown 365. Good expansion on that. This is our 124 grain Federal Punch. Good expansion. These are our three 115 grain FTX Critical Defense rounds from Hornady. All of them expanded pretty nicely. And this was the one that was away from all the rest of the rounds that we shot. Looks like I might have ticked that one at some point. And then here's our 135 grain Hornady Critical Duty. And once again, in this test, really not a lot of expansion on it. It kind of kept that same profile, mushroomed a little bit, but it also had quite a bit more punch through the gel than the rest of the rounds did but overall all very good rounds i really like the sig v ground personally i'm not paid by sig i'm not sponsored by sig or any way to say that that's just kind of my preference and what i've seen but if you're worried about over penetration with your round the plus p grizzly performed really well stopping short in the in the gel and giving a really good expansion all right, everybody, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman with the 9mm Ballistics Test Part 2. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. If you did, be sure to click like and then click subscribe in that lower corner 
Uh, if you've got your phone in landscape mode, there's an icon in that corner of the video. If you turn your phone to portrait mode, there's another subscribe button down below that. And then there's the notification bell as well. If you click that bell, it's supposed to tell you anytime I upload a new video. Sometimes it takes a couple hours or a day or not at all. But it at least gives you a better shot of knowing when we put something new up on the channel. Be sure to share this with your friends and family and anybody that you think would be interested. Let's uh, keep pushing towards that thousand subscriber mark. We just passed 500. I'm really excited about that. But uh, for those that remember, Mrs. Rifleman said I can buy a new gun when we hit a thousand subscribers and that gives more content for you guys. So be sure to also check out the social medias, uh, Instagram and Facebook, just by searching Idaho Rifleman. And if you're interested, I do a firearms blog as well. I'll try to, I'm a little behind on it right now. But that's idaho-rifleman.blogspot.com. And I do kind of a more written commentary on the different videos and what the different results were. I hope you guys all have a great week. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you next time.